How is it going everyone? I hope you're all enjoying your day today and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. Now guys, today I have a very special video for you all. It is about the Philadelphia Flyers. It is also about the Patrick Line rumors to Philadelphia. We're going to be getting into all of that in this video. But before we do, I have a quick announcement to make for the channel. Quick little update here. And that is that I actually have a new recording device to make my video. So hopefully uh, the sound quality is a little bit better around here. Slowly but surely, uh, the production of the Diener HD channel will slowly get better. So bear with me, guys. Hopefully I can make this experience a lot better for my viewers because that's what I want at the end of the day anyways that's pretty much all i really wanted to say uh, before this video started other than to make sure you subscribe if you are new around here because we're on the road to 4,000 subscribers let's try and hit that as soon as we can start 2021 strong i cannot wait and for a question of the day let me know if you guys are excited for this new 21 team playoffs who do you think is going to come out on each division that is my question to you all anyways with that being said let's hop right into the video all right, so as we all know, the NHL season is underway in roughly two weeks' time. A very exciting time for many hockey fans around the globe, quite like myself and you probably watching the video right now. Uh, but another thing that we have to actually pay attention to, other than the fact uh, of our players and teams getting back into the mindset to go to work, is the trade rumors that kind of linger at the start of the season, as it's often overlooked with the hype and excitement around a new NHL season, but it's always something that we have to kind of pay attention to. So this one's all about Patrick Line going to the Philadelphia Flyers in a trade. Now, Jet star Patrick Laine is one of the, if not the, biggest names on the trade market. Laine stands at number two overall on TSN's trade bait list, while rumors involving the big 22-year-old goal-scoring winger have floated around all off-season. The Flyers have had interest in Laine, though, and a source told NBC Sports in Philadelphia that on Wednesday night. In early October, however, the Athletics' Pierre Lebrun reported that the Flyers and Jets have had trade discussions, but the talks ended up cooling down. Now, it's uncertain when or if talks could rekindle, but don't expect the Flyers' interest to suddenly or completely evaporate. The interest could pick back up during the 2020-2021 campaign when there's a greater feel for the season in general. Teams need the value of trade chips as well as possibly a greater pressure to add to their teams. Now, the Line A trade talks will continue to blow through the season and into next offseason unless Winnipeg and the 2016 second overall pick agree to a long-term extension. Line A, who has seasons of 36, 44, 30, and 28 goals in his four-year career, will be a restricted free agent next offseason, obviously arbitration eligible and up for a nice raise. He already has a $6.75 million cap hit on his current two-year deal and is probably thinking long-term for the next. Now, what this means for Line and the Jets in the future, obviously we don't know right now. It's a bit of a toss-up, but personally, for me and my opinion, I do not think that Line will be a Jet come next season. I think that this could be his final year in the Jets uniform. Obviously, he could get traded at the trade deadline. And as for a trade uh, for a guy like Patrick Line, I think a fair asking price would be a first-round pick, a top-tier prospect, and a current NHL maybe top nine forward or def or top four defenseman. I don't know. But I think that that's a pretty good price for a guy like Line, who is a consistent 25, 30 plus goal scorer per year, who is only who is only going up. His development is still very early, still only 22 years old, still a lot of room to grow for this man. Uh, obviously, in the comment section below, let me know where you think Line will land and if he will go at all uh, and for what asking price, because I think that's a very interesting um question to be asked and it could definitely be uh there could, could definitely be a wide array of answers there but yeah i think that's probably going to do it for this video obviously quite a short video but i mean we have gotten a lot of news on the line a philadelphia trade talks and um, i'm sure i will be making an update or a part two to this video uh, as soon as i can when we get more information on where line a is at uh, in his career and his whole plan for the future but for now i think this is where we stand so thank you guys so much for watching uh, obviously, hopefully you guys have a good new year. Uh, this is the last day of 2020 as I record this video. So hopefully tomorrow can be a good start to uh, 2021. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.